This is a geolocator. It's going to be carried by the bird for a year. The instrument keeps track of the time and the light level. So when we get it back and we download it to the computer, we can determine the time when the sun went up and the time when the sun went down. But the time is Greenwich Mean Time. And so the same principle that sailors use to determine longitude and latitude, if you know the time of the middle of the day or the time of the middle of the night, you can determine longitude on the Earth. And if you know the length of the day and the day of the year, you can determine latitude on the Earth. You know, we worry a little bit about, or we, we take care to make sure that we're not putting too much weight on the bird. There are regulations and we have to get a permit. The birds add a great amount of weight for migration in fat, much, much more than this weighs. Um, so it's a little bit like taking a jar and strapping it to the side of your leg for a year. <laughs> okay. It's, it's not nothing, but they can fly with it. All the work that we're doing is kind of falls under the term of mig migratory connectivity. You can't just work in one part of the world, that the whole world's connected. That these birds spend time in South America and Central America and in North America. And what happens in one part of the world affects the other parts of the world. So we've been trying to get that message across and these geolocators allow us to understand that much better than we ever could before.